Who am I talking to? I'm talking to Yidl. Yidl is... What's your what's your peak on him? Do you like 45, 50-ish? 45, 41. Oh, I was close. Holy fuck. <laughs> 45, 41. Yeah, I've actually gotten... On my Hammond account, I got 45, 01. But I have reached um, around 45, 50. I just didn't only play Hammond. Um, but yeah, so my favorite hero right now... I don't know if you know this, Yidl, but my favorite hero is Hammond, so... I play him a lot. No, yeah, I play him a lot. He's my most played on my PvP account, and um, on my all my alt accounts, I play him a lot. But yeah, he's really fun when you can just roll through the enemy team. Yeah, literally. But yeah, basically, Edel's known as like one of the best Hammonds in the game, if not the the best that plays Hammond the most. Uh, I think I'm really really good at Hammond as well, but he plays them in more situations that are non-ideal than I do. So like we were talking earlier, like Rialto first point defense. I don't really play Hammond on that on defense because I prefer to play other heroes. So he can put himself in these situations where he'll learn the hero more than me. Oh nice! Really big engage. They have Anna Zenyatta, which is a terrible support setup, and it's especially terrible versus versus Hammond. Not even a break. So are, I like the setup right above where this mega's at. They're, they're gonna cross the left side of the point. Yeah. The right side. Usually for me at least. Because that way you can just slam them without having to grapple at all. Yeah. That's true. I just like the, the initial uh, damage engagement if you can boot people. Like right there, I boop them and then slam them. So that's what I like to grapple in sometimes. But I agree, getting a free slam is pretty valuable. I feel like Hammond's really good when the only tanks they're running is Ryan Zarya. Like, I feel like he's almost made just the, just the role of uh, Death One Hops. Yeah, that's very true. Oh, he's coming for you. <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh, Hammond is definitely thinking he to play aggressive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, the Holy shit! Every fight. Oh! oh <laughs> yeah, boop him, boop him! I think he dies anyways. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. I'm discorded. I wouldn't be able to get through there. I'm just trying to boop them around, bully them so my team can... Yeah, you're doing a lot right now. You're contesting the payload and they haven't done anything. Oh, I died. Well, we have a Reaper that... Ended up dying. You almost have bomb. You need to stay alive. Yeah, they use it. I have minefield. Still take this back though. You have minefield. Oh, huge. Got the Ana. You get on point, get on point. I killed two. The Zen too. They have no heals. They have no heals. They have no heals. We got this. We got this. No, it's huge Nana. It's actually a really good Nana. Let's frag him. Oh, let's break it. oh yeah, you guys win this. Watch your back up. Yeah, watch the back up. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and abuse that boop again, see if I can get away with it. Oh I'm not getting all switched. No! I was shooting Bob. I was trying to get my mines real quick, but I was shooting Bob. Yeah, he has to give old charge. Do 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 do. Yo, Severi, you want to play Ryan? I actually, uh, not not to sound like I'm self promoting. I made a video with like the combos that you can do with Hammond. After I I forgot what you told me, but I played with you one time a while ago, and it like re really made me start thinking about all these combos that you can do with Hammond. Yeah, with the like, slam for instance, and the rolls. Yeah, you can like you can slam and have your honor throw an anti nade at their feet. Oh yeah, you know, dude. Like, the Reinhardt and anyone else. Yeah, I've actually that's a really good idea of making that. You, 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 I mean, don't you can self promote all you want. Um, so basically, what we're talking about here, guys, is you can you can combo Hammond's slam ability because it like boops him in the air and CCs them. Um, with a lot of other abilities in the game, like you can do it with Hanzo Dragon, you can do it with Anna Nades, which is just a regular ability. You can do it with Diva, Bomb. Diva Bombs, which is which is the most combo uh, common one. Yeah, Dupe Assaults, that's true as well. You can even do it with Genji Blades, because it'll pe put people in one location for your Genji to roll through and kill them. And when you do it, it burns cooldowns before your Genji uh, initiates. But yeah, that's something I do a lot Pretty too. Cool. I try to combo as often as possible. Like I usually press tab a lot, and then 
I just feel like, okay, out of all these heroes, what can I combo next with my yeah. with my role? Um, but like right now, I'm not really communicating with my team as much as I normally do because I'm doing this. But yeah, that's a good point. If you guys want to go check that out, I'm pretty sure you're. What's your YouTube channel? Is it just Eedle or? Yeah, just Eedle. Okay, so yeah, it's Eedle. Um, I killed Sombra's locator. Oh, man's locator. Alright, Ash is off back. Ash, Sombra's on point, no recall. Got her ass. But yeah, comboing stuff with Hammond is insanely important. It, it helps you get a lot more value than you just can by playing by you know playing by yourself, not working with your team. Yeah, I feel like Hammond's one of those heroes that, that it, it, you really get the most value when you're shot calling or like making calls in plays or comboing. Yeah. Like, Ooh, uh, yeah. for instance, my, my favorite combo is literally just the shield tank. So when you go in for a mind field on the Ana, you, you know that she always wants to like anti it. What she can do is you can call for your diva to matrix her feet. And she won't be able to anti it. She just died from mind field. Yeah. Yeah, they're all chasing me. It's a little bit harder so, uh, if it's the only play it's the big play yeah so like right now i'm just trying to get their anna to, to not be able to heal the team i'm not necessarily trying to kill the anna but just by zoning the anna out you gotta think about it this way for every shot that the anna can heal if you can stop her from hitting those shots then it's like doing damage to her or like damage to someone else on the team it's also making other people more vulnerable too overall to there but oh another another thing actually um kind of realized today was that I mean it's pretty obvious but you can boop um, Bob so like if Bob's in a good position oh I got the hiccups if Bob's in a good position to really do work on your team you can just boop him out to a different place another another thing you can do I, I didn't mention this in any videos is uh, if they have a Winston you can minefield and bomb oh, at the fuck. same time and the bubble's gonna give up to one of them yeah yeah there's a, a clean counter dive on the Winston there. I'm sure you do that a lot, right there. Yeah, I, I like the setup up there too. It's really good uh, sight lines. Yeah. Just drop on them free. There's not really a lot of uh, good angles to swing in right here. I think some spots I I, I like to hold right here sometimes because you can like swing in like this. Uh, yeah. But I think up top is really good too because you can get a free counter dive on the um on the Winston. Yeah, their Winston didn't have any help there. I don't know if they uh, they even have anything to die with them. Yeah. So they have a... Su just looking at their team comp, they have the shit support setup I was talking about, Anna Zenyatta. Yo, I got hacked, guys. There's a Sombra on the left. Uh, I need heals. Yeah, for this team comp versus their team comp, you can just like keep counter diving all day. You don't have to actually go balls deep because no one's yeah. going to follow up with you if you do. Yeah, and, and uh, also I need to worry about getting hacked from Sombra. Oh, I guess they got off Sombra yeah. now, but... But Sombra, if you are in their back line and you get hacked, you are dying. It's just plain and simple. Unless okay, you got like 600 shields. Full dive, so you can consider going I'm, for this. I'm going to start playing more aggressive now, right? Yeah. Because that was the last fight. Wow, nice. I was thinking about engaging on the Zen there, but I was already pre-discorded and they were, they were counter damaging me. Yeah, you, you don't have to play like super aggressive, but like when they pass towards the choke, when they're at a point of no return, then you can drop on them. Also, I think I think IRS on that team is Kalush from last game, um, and he's an insane diva. So if, as you could tell, he countered over me on my first engage, and he's looking to counter dive me on my the rest of my engages, which is what a diva could really do versus Hammond. Um, what's really good to do versus Hammond. So uh, uh, watch this. If I go right here, he's gonna be. Oh, okay, never mind. He's actually committing. Oh, that was a bad mine. I wanted to put it on their supports. Rip. Oh, but you guys did good. You, you, you held it for like three minutes. So. Yep, three and a half minutes, so it's still good. I, I tried to put the mines on the supports, but I actually accidentally overshot it. But yeah, but anyways, what I was trying to say is their diva is really good, and what you can do as a diva player versus Hammond is you hard focus him sometimes. Because diva is really good at bursting Hammond. And creating pressure. Like you never, you don't, you're not gonna be able to kill him any easily, but you also don't want to let him just do what he wants. So there's like a middle ground of being able to pressure the Hammond to force him off your team, but also you don't want to focus him too hard. 
What I like to do, if I, I know they have EMP, I like to minefield towards the back line, but like in a way that I'm safe on my ground. That way they'll EMP the mines and uh, yeah. you won't get your team. Yo, I got mines, main choke. Good, EMP, good minefield. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah, then they have to either commit the EMP to your mines or to your team. And most Sombras won't EMP your mines. It's a good idea. Um, something we could talk about with Hammond is utilizing your... We could talk about the one-shot combo or like the burst combo that you do on engaging in a 1v1 on like a squishy and also um, melee. I think people don't realize that melee, especially for all off tanks, is really, really important to use. Like, uh, like I was talking about on King's Row when I was doing my right click. I was doing my right clicks on Zarya and then meleeing in between. Um, yeah, you do a lot of melee on and and you do a lot of melees on Diva as well and Hammonds, and the reason you do melee so much is because it on Zarya and Hammond it conserves a lot of ammo and offers extra damage that you can do, um, and on Diva Diva doesn't really have like her left click isn't like an insane amount of damage output unless you're just strictly hitting headshots. So Diva using melee in between shots is a good way to just do like mini burst damage. When you land a, a pile driver, um, you get a couple of shots off, you pretty much just really off the main lane. So like, don't Yo, their supports are zoned out, guys. Yeah. They, had to, they had to trance. Oh, that's another thing. If, if you had a Genji on your team, uh, I think Hammond's like super valuable with uh, a good combo with Genji. Because you can force trans out with mine. Like, yeah. yeah, that was very true. They don't have a tick yet. I'm still alive. Guys, any healing? Lucio, you're leaving. Lucio! He's going for the frags. That was an insane engagement. I saw an opportunity to get a pick, even though I had so little health. Well, what do you say when people uh, mention adaptive shield uh, before Pile Driver? Uh, I think it's good. I don't. I just don't like to do it often because I want to maximize my uh, my slam damage potential on my slam. Like, because it, it takes time to do the adaptive shield. So sometimes you could do it and it'll fuck up your slams. And I, I don't think it's really that important to do before. I know it it could help you do like some more damage, but I don't know. Yeah, I, think, I think it's overrated. I, I think it's very overrated. Yeah. I don't like to do it. Also, there are some situations where when I slam, I don't know for sure if I actually want to use my adaptive shield. There are some scenarios where like, I'll, I'll save my shield. So, if I use it in the air, then sometimes I'll be wasting it. This is a really good hammer game. Popped off. Um, so, we can talk about the combo, the Hammond combo. Which is Whoa. basically where you just roll into them. If you can, you boop them, and then you slam on them. And then while they're in the air, you shoot them, and as they're falling, you melee them. Um, if people don't know the damage values on everything, when you hit someone with a roll, when you're like, you know, you're doing the fast roll where you're like on fire with your grapple, you do 50 damage per person that you hit. When you hit someone with a slam, if they're directly under you, you do 100 damage. So that's 150 damage total. So when they're in the air, all you have to do is hit them for 20 damage worth of bullets, and your melee does 30. So you'll be able to one-shot 200 HP heroes. It's really easy to do on Zenyatta's because they don't have self-heal. Like Lucio can amp heals, Anna can throw a grenade, um, Moira can shift or orb. But Zenyatta's completely vulnerable because Zen can't do anything. Zenyatta's only healing is through self-regen of shields. Um, and Zen has like a huge hitbox too, so, and no mobility. Uh, I think they have dive tanks, I think they're up top right. Yeah, they are. Oh, is that Doomfist by Mega? I just wanted to boop the Doomfist out of the fight, so my team can freely push forward. Sombra oh, Doomfist is up top by the Mega, guys. Sombra and Doomfist are up top by the Mega. I can kill the Anna! Anna dead, Anna dead! In that situation, I actually didn't know if the Anna had, um... I didn't know if the Anna had a nade or not, but I committed for it anyways. And it turns out she didn't, so it was really good. 
because you went for the sleep and missed. That was also a perfect example of the combo I was talking about. How I rolled into her, I booped her, then I did the slam, and I did a shot, and I did a melee, and ended up killing her in one shot. The one shot combo. Yeah, the slam's like a, a really powerful uh, ability, and it's super versatile. So like, yeah. I I think a lot of Hammonds don't utilize it enough. It's probably the best part of this game. See, like right there? Absolutely fucking melted. Their honor was still spawning. So this is a, a situation where I, I talked about how I don't want to commit to the Anna, I just want to boop her. Because I know she's going to try and sleep dart me, so I rolled right away and tried to like dodge the sleep dart. She actually didn't end up going for it, but I got hacked anyways. So. Yeah, when you get hacked, you'll notice what PvP is doing is like, as soon as you get hacked, you just try to LOS to the Sombra. Theater is little old charges you can, like, get away from her. Yeah. Don't try to 1v1. For the most part, you shouldn't try to 1v1. Yeah, unless you know for sure you can force her recall. And, like, if you're in a safe spot already. But if you're in a vulnerable spot, you definitely don't want to. That was kind of a cool slam there, people might not realize. But when you slam, it actually... It picks you up in the air and then moves you forward. So if you're trying to get onto a ledge, you can you can slam forward. Oh my god. They trans, they trans. Aww. The Sombra's, all right, so the Sombra's strictly looking for hacks on me. Because he knows that I'm like, quote unquote, inting or feeding into the enemy team. So I can actually counterplay this and, and try to purposely make it so he's useless. I'm gonna I'm gonna not engage so hard and then he's gonna be sitting there looking for me and, and looking for hacks. You know, allow my team to just slow push into him. That, that's an example of when you'd be playing tank passively. Yeah. The whole there's, you know, yeah, there's like four people up top, so we should probably go in the cave on the left. We don't wanna go through the middle. Yeah, yeah, what's it what's the aim speed and go left? Uh yo, don't don't grab because I'll try and force transfer my minefield. I'm gonna go slam on their on their Zen. Okay, let's go then. Zen 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 Zen. They EMP. Oh, Anna's behind point. Anna's behind point. Kill Anna. She's on point. Anna 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 Anna. Guys, Anna. Die. <laughs> <laughs> the reload, dude. It feels feels bad. The reload. Oh, what? I was around the corner. Yeah, I agree, 100. percent Yeah, if he did. Yeah, they're gonna have. They might have. They might have trance now. I, I killed the Zen at the very beginning of the fight, but I think he probably has trance again. You can get your your Anna probably nano you. Yeah, Anna, you should nano me so I can go force the trance. All right, I'll call for it. All right, we're in enemy middle right now, right now, right now. Right now. You're powered up. Get in there. All right, we got trance. We got trance out. I'm probably gonna die, but you guys can still do it without me. Huge grab, huge grab. Nice. Anna, 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 Anna on the right side. Anna on the right side. One shot, one shot. Anna, one shot. On on bridge. Are you guys still alive? I minefield. I got slept though and hacked. Holy shit. I can minefield, I can minefield. Oh, you guys are all dead. Just watching my team die one by one right in front of my face. I got slept and hacked, dude. That's so annoying. Alright, I have another minefield. Yo, I'm gonna engage on this. We gotta pick. Let's go, I got Winston, I got Winston! I put them back, we got this! Oh, let's fucking go, dude. Big plays. Big Simba carry. Good game, guys. You guys, you guys should have won that like four times. <laughs> I know. I wasn't too worried because we had they didn't even have a tick, so... Yeah. That was a very good call on the um, using Nano to force Trance because I actually didn't really think of that for a second. Yeah, you guys almost took it with that fight, too. Yeah. I know that. I think, uh, like, things like that are a perfect example of what separates, like, high rank players from lower rank players. I think lower rank players, they'll, they'll tunnel vision and they won't think about what the other team can do to defend themselves against your abilities. So, like, like a, low, a lower rank Zarya might just go in and shoot grab thinking that it's fine, but they're going to have a trance. So, you got to try and think of ahead and, and think, like, okay, if I shoot grab this fight, 
I need to make sure that my Anna gets an antenate in the grav. Or if I have grav, I want to make sure that we force trance before I do it. How can we do that? So like right there is a perfect example of nanoing Hammond to force trance so we can get a better grav. Hmm. Hey, hey, nobody steal my strats. Nobody steal these strats. No leaks. Oh, okay. Okay, no, no leaks, leaks. leaks. Don't clip it. Don't clip it. Like... I'm just gonna save it on the VOD <laughs> for it. No, that's actually pretty big. Alright, man, Matt is avoided. I am insta <laughs> Me too. Yeah, everybody on Void, Matt. That means we'll be on the same team. That's you gotta risk it all to win it all. We do the Coral out. We're doing it for the stream. We made it. Big purple on us. 